Hi, my name's Gareth and I teach music performance and music tech at Ports of College. Uh, this is the YouTube channel for the Ports of College music page and I wanted to add some tutorials on here uh, for my current students, but also uh, you might just find this by accident and you might find this interesting. Uh, so as well as all the gig footage we put up and stuff from the lessons and things like that, um, this is some tutorials for people that are um, learning about performance and trying to improve their performance through some kind of educational course. So in each performance course you might do, you would be um, required to reflect on your performance progress. Um, and I think there's quite a good point of reference you can make with five different elements of performance, which I'm going to go through now to kind of maybe help you navigate through that kind of um, idea of reflection and how to um, address an assessment like that where you have to reflect on your progress. The first one I'm going to talk about is instinct. So instinct um, is so crucial, but it's something that not everybody has at first, um, but some people just have it. But instinct is something that also can um, mean that you immediately recover from a mistake or you immediately um, just know what to do in a situation that's a little bit more unexpected. So instinct is quite a powerful thing in a performance. And something you could think about, about whether, how, how big is your instinct, how strong is your instinct. Instinct is something that you can't really take for granted. So that's something to sort of consider first, instinct. I'm sure you can all relate to the idea that confidence is a big one. Quite often when I start teaching my first years, that's the biggest challenge they have, is their confidence. Uh, and that can obviously be developed every time that you play in front of an audience. Um, I think having a safe environment to, to learn music in and to practice and rehearse music in and to um, improve your understanding of music through some kind of course, if there's a safe environment, that does improve your confidence as well. But nothing can, be re can replace playing in front of an audience. So the more you can get out there and do it, the more confident you'll be. I think it's worth thinking about that when you're reflecting on your progress because um, it, it's the single most powerful thing really that can turn you from a, an okay performer to a great performer because it's, you start make, taking risks. Um, just everything you do just means that you own the song more. Um, you know, whatever instrument you're playing, if you're a drummer, you will be more likely to, to try different drum fills and to um, to do something kind of spontaneous and interesting in the song because you've got that confidence to give it a go. So I don't think you can underestimate confidence and uh, that's definitely something to, to think about when you're reflecting on your progress. Understanding is the third one I was going to talk about. That's an interesting one because it's something that you don't necessarily think about when you're rehearsing. But how much you understand what you're doing is quite important. What is it that you're trying to achieve with the, with the rehearsal and how close are you to achieving that. Uh, if you're all in the same place, um, everyone that you're rehearsing with and you're all um, going for the same goal, then um, that affects the rehearsal and it affects you as a performer. And if you really do have a sort of a, a, a more comprehensive understanding of, of music in general um, and the music you're performing, then you have much more of a grounding for what you're doing. And I think it make, certainly makes you a better performer. So, for example, if you were playing a soul song, if you really understood how soul music works and the differences between how you would play the guitar or the piano or the bass in a soul song or the drums, then you can kind of reinforce that in your playing and you'll be much more authentic. The same with the singing. Obviously, um, there's a lot of um, distinctive singing in soul music. And if you understand that, then you can play with that and you can be much more confident as a performer in the context of the, of the music you're playing. The fourth element I want to talk about is level of practice. Seems like an obvious thing to say, but it amazes me how uh, indifferent some of my students are about the level of practice they make, um, or they don't really realise it, especially singers, they don't understand that uh, this is an instrument as much as um, a guitar or piano or drums would be and the more you practice the better you'll be so literally you should be doing you should be practicing your instrument every day depending on your life circumstance how much you can do it but you should be doing it every day and you know the, the best performers the, 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 the big stars the, the, the people the really successful musicians 
they practice for hours every day um, and that cannot be replaced by anything practice 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 it's an old cliche but it's a cliche because it's true the more you, you practice the better you'll be um, it just means you just you know improves your instinct it improves um, your confidence actually all those other things that we've talked about but it just gives you those rudimentary skills that you need you, you become much more in tune with yourself as well you, you're more aware of what you can do so um, practice 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 really really important And the last of the five elements I want to talk about is vocabulary. So um, I use that term to kind of mean what you can do with your instrument. So uh, there is no doubt that if you have more knowledge of chords and single notes, the way that the fretboard works on a guitar or a bass, um, then you're going to be you're going to have more weapons to your arsenal for what you're going to actually play. Uh, same as a keyboard, if you know lots of different chords and you know lots of scales, um, then clearly you will be able to improvise better and you can, you know, if, you, if you're supposed to be playing a blues song, you'll know the blues scale. Uh, same with your vocals. Um, if you have lots of different techniques you can use and if you want to change your tone of voice and you know how to do that, then that's going to make you a better singer. So voc vocabulary, a bit of an obvious one, but I think it's still an element that you can reflect on and think about how much you've developed that side of your playing and whether or not you can develop that more. So that's five things to help you reflect on how much you've developed as a performer. Um, and like I said at the early part of this video, when you do a course on performance, whatever level it is, you'll always get asked to reflect on that kind of thing. So it, those five things may help with that. Thanks.